In this video, we are going to learn about the relationship between fasting and insulin levels. You may think, I am not diabetic. All this talk about insulin is for people who have diabetes, right? Whose blood sugar is high. What's, what's insulin got to do with me? I am just overweight. I am just obese. See, insulin is the fat storage hormone. The more insulin a person's body secretes, the more fat they store. Now, diabetes is the result of accumulated insulin resistance over many years. It's an extreme case of insulin resistance. But whether you have diabetes or not, a person who is obese or overweight has a problem with high levels of insulin. Therefore, it's necessary to know the relationship between fasting and insulin levels. See, when we eat food, we secrete insulin. So, the body stores glycogen and it stores fat reserves. When we fast, we don't eat food. Insulin level is decreased. Therefore, glycogen is burned by the body as fuel and stored fat reserves are burned by the body as fuel. The LCHF way of eating, the low carb, high fat way of eating ensures insulin control. It controls the amount of insulin that is secreted. However, fasting ensures reduction in insulin resistance and over time it even increases a person's insulin sensitivity. Most diets, low carb diets, low fat diets, they restrict the amount of insulin secreting foods which is why at the beginning people lose weight. But after a certain point of time, no matter how less they eat, they are unable to lose weight because insulin secretion is still high, insulin resistance is still high and therefore the body set point weight is still high, doesn't reduce, therefore they don't lose weight. Fasting is the efficient method of lowering insulin and therefore reducing a person's body set point weight. See the body can be only in two states. One is the fed state, the other is the fasted state. In the fed state, insulin is high. In the fasted state, insulin is low. In the fed state, we are storing energy. In the fasted state, we are spending energy. So when storage of energy and spending of energy is equal, then there is no weight gain. This is not calories in, calories out. That has not worked for all these years, has it? This is energy stored versus energy lost. If that is equal, then there is no weight gain. Since we know that insulin is the fat storage hormone, now let's look at insulin response for the various types of food. When you eat carbohydrates, the insulin secretion is at its highest. When you have protein, insulin secretion is moderate. When you have fat, insulin secretion is low. When you are fasting, there is no insulin secretion and because there is no insulin secretion, the fat that is stored in the fat reserves of the body start getting used up for fuel and therefore a person loses weight. Not only does the person lose weight, cholesterol levels and other problems due to inflammation also reduce. In another fasting video, we saw the example about fridge and freezer, how glycogen is the fridge and fat reserves are the freezer. Now we should understand that either glycogen can be used or fat reserves can be used. Both cannot be used simultaneously. So as long as there is glycogen reserves to be used, the body will only access that. It will not go to the fat reserves which is the freezer. It will access only this. We learned this in the other video. Now what is the role of insulin in this fridge freezer illustration. The fat storage hormone insulin is the bouncer. He stands at the door of the freezer, doesn't let you open the freezer and access the fat reserves. So as long as insulin is around, you cannot access the fat from the freezer, that is the fat reserves in your body. Carbohydrate, protein and even fat cause insulin secretion. Though from increasing to decreasing levels, there is still insulin in the system. 
So the fat reserves are not accessed. When you are on LCHF, this bouncer becomes weak. It becomes very weak. Therefore, you are able to kind of fight with him and take some fat reserves. But still because he is weak, you can't do much. But when you are fasting, this bouncer dies. He has no life. So you can open the freezer and access as much fat reserves as you want. And therefore, weight is reduced, cholesterol levels are reduced and you become healthier. So this is the relationship between fasting and insulin and this is why fasting helps you reduce weight, reduce cholesterol levels and have so many other benefits. I hope this along with the other videos about fasting would have enlightened you about fasting and uh, if you think that that is the next goal for your health then maybe you should try it. Happy fasting. Thank you.